Meet Tracy Decker. Tracy and his family share a lake house, but it's not a typical home, it's a smart home. A house that can think for you even when you're miles away. So Tracy, we're here at your lake house. This is not your primary residence, um, but you have implemented this smart home technology. Tell us why, how did that begin? Um, it started, uh, it seemed like uh, probably the first thing that happened was we'd be halfway home, my wife and I, and she'd say, did you turn the water off? And I'd say, did you turn the lights off? And the answer was no to both of those. So then the decision was, are we too far away to turn around? Is it just going to stay on until we get back, or do we turn around and shut it off? So that's pretty much how it started. So you, you really got into, again, into peace of mind and security, but ultimately you really wrapped around energy savings and dollar savings, right? Exactly. Uh, we were leaving a lot of devices on, a lot of heat on that didn't need to be, or a lot of air conditioning at that time. Um, we didn't use it until we got uh, some remote control, so to speak. We didn't use it in the winter time. We'd come down in the winter and tried it a few times and sat on the couch for four hours with the winter coat on, and that we just didn't use it. So uh, the convenience of it actually made it a usable place in the winter time. And immediately, I, you were saying, I mean, water heater, right? And yes. Been, been on and running. Yeah. So that, so that was on, and we didn't even think about it. So when we shut the water off, we tied the water heater in with it. Um, and turned them both off, so we saved some energy there. And it's all customizable, too. So these are your circumstances. If your neighbor shifted their house to a smart home, their circumstances may be totally different. Exactly, yeah. Uh, that is kind of the beauty of it, and it, and it kind of grows that way just because of the very reason. You never really know what you want to turn on or off until you have something that does, and then you think, oh, we could do this, or, and oh, we could do this, and it just grows. Now, you were telling us, Tracy, a couple of stories, if you'll... Uh, fill in for us. But first of all, I mean, again, just the, to me, the safety with your grandkids and being situated on a lake. Mm -hmm. uh, tell us about that. Uh, two worries we had. Um, one was fire. Um, so these smoke alarms are tied in with the system as well and the door locks. So one of the things that happens when the smoke alarms go off is that it starts a siren. So if it's in the basement and you're upstairs, you can still hear it. Um, it flashes all the lights that are remote controlled unlocks the door and actually makes sure that the water is on so the firemen can get in they not to beat down the door and if somebody's in the house able to try and do something with a fire that the water is on. That's got to bring you peace of mind as well. A lot and then the other piece where we worried that um, grandkids might get up in the middle of the night and head out to the lake and nobody would notice um, so we have door sensors and motion sensors on the way to the lake so at certain times we actually chirp that same alarm or siren so that an adult can say, oh, I hear something, the door's open, where's all the kids at? So that now, works well too. In that case, you were trying to keep people in the house. How about keeping... People out? Right. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's another one. So we, we have cameras everywhere um, and we have sensors on the doors and motion detectors. So um, that's, a, that's kind of a byproduct of having the devices is that we have some peace of mind as to what's happening. Um, that brings up a, an example here. Uh, I got an email uh, with this picture. And an email from? From the system. <laughs> from your home? Yep. Okay. From the house. Yeah, the house yeah. emailed me and um, basically said that something's moving in the house. And I didn't get a door opening alarm. Um, I, on the one door, I don't have a sensor on. It actually blew open is what we think. And you can see half a cat here in the picture. So That's, this was at 10 o'clock at night. Do you have night. a cat? And I do not. Okay. And um, so that was a, certainly a surprise. And this was at 10 o'clock at night, and I, we had left the water on, and the house was down to 40 degrees. So if I wouldn't have gotten a notification, I'd have had frozen water lines, and not to mention a, a mess with a cat. And I was happy it was a cat instead yeah. of a raccoon. Yeah, and you, who knows, maybe you might have had other creatures coming in with that door open. Yeah, right? other creatures, and other creatures carrying my TVs out. So uh, that, was a, that was a good thing. So I logged in to the system, got a live view on the cameras, and said, okay, that door blew open, and... I better go take care of this problem. And your bills, this investment is paying itself off? Yeah, just the energy savings of, the, of not leaving the heating units on or the air conditioning units on, turning the water heaters off. Uh, those types of things have, have really made a big difference. In addition to making the house usable and the super hot weather or the super cool weather. Well, here on Powerhouse, we like that. Saving dollars, saving energy, and uh, more home comfort. Well, Tracy, thanks for letting us come in. We're anxious now to walk around and, and see this, this smart home technology in action. 